Hey everybody, it's Matt. Wrestling with Whiskey back again. A special, special treat as if you couldn't already tell by the title and by the friend sitting next to me. Uh, yes, that is right. Today we are going to be tasting the 2019 edition of Eagle Rare 17 years old. Uh, this is exciting for me because I've never tasted or owned uh, an Eagle Rare 17. Uh, for someone who's so into whiskey, I love Eagle Rare. Um, I've just, you know, I'll be honest, I've always gone after the stars of the show, the stag and the weller, and um, I've heard from a lot of people that sometimes that's a mistake. Uh, it's things like this, and sometimes the rise are big, big deals to go after. So I'm really happy that I ended up with our friend here. Um, obviously, one of the Five members of the BTAC Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. Uh, this one is 17 years old, coming in, obviously, coming in at 50.5% ABV, 101 proof. They moved that up. It used to be in the 90s. Now it is 101, which makes me happy. A little bit, probably a little bit closer to barrel strength. And right on that 100 to me is a sweet spot for bourbon. Uh, 1 to 110, 115 maybe is like the sweet spot for proof. Uh, you go higher. Starts punching you in the face a little bit, which can be nice at times, but it's not always good. And you start falling below that. It can be also be very nice, but you start getting a little bit more subtle or a little bit more sweet and watery. And blah, blah. that 100 to 110 is primo. So we are going here. Eagle Rare 17. Let's leave a little bit of the back label just because they took so much work into it. Bless you, Buffalo Trace. Um, there's about 18 paragraphs, so I'll skip the one to where they talk about Eagle Rare 17. <clears throat> Eagle Rare 17 year old Kentucky Street Bourbon Whiskey is the ultimate symbol of our undying pursuit of freedom. Um, it is the freedom that gives us our heroes, those individuals, an unparalleled passion regardless of the odds, a belief that common people can accomplish the great things. <coughs> Excuse me. Eagle Rare symbolizes the spirit of innovation, tapping the human intellect to find new ways to achieve greatness. These celebrations of the human will are what compel us to realize that anything is possible if we believe in ourselves. So are we the eagle? Is that the deal? I don't know. Um, that is very flowery language. Um, Kudos, you gotta do your storytelling, you gotta do your marketing. I'm not gonna harp on it, but it's just, it's kind of funny. It's a lot of patriotic um, mumbo jumbo to say it's a 17 year old bourbon from one of our mash bills. <laughs> um, it's pretty much all it's a, all it needs to say. And you know what? In this market, that's all you need. This is gonna be embarrassing. I have no nails. I need to get a tool. Um, it's marketing, man. Anyway, before I even pour, remember, great bottles are meant to be opened, they're meant to be shared. I don't have a huge load of bourbon drinkers in the house or in my area um, to share with at the moment, so I'm going to share with you. Here we go. Cheers. Seventeen years of oak, seventeen years of wood, resting, aging. Very curious to see what this smells like. That is deep oak, obviously vanilla. Oh, there's some dark, sweet cherry on there. Reminds me almost of. Um, Stag a little bit from 2018. Not quite as high proof, obviously. But it's like this deep, fruity, vanilla, spicy bomb. Not quite like an all-day noser. I know I say that about certain things. It's not quite there, but this is very, very nice. The fruit flavors become more subtle on the palate. Wood tannins taking over. 
a little bit of this like leather spice. Pretty nice mouthfeel for 101. Um, there's just like waves of flavor. At first, it's this kind of like vanilla, like bold and round. And then it gets fruity in like the middle palate, like a little bit like apples and cherries. And then it go, finishes off in the back with some baking spice. This might sound weird, but the, the finish, the taste of the finish, like you know that sometimes that drying, fruity flavor on the roof of your mouth, roof of your mouth, that's not super prominent, but just the warming, rolling effect is very long on this. So the finish is long, even if the flavors dissipate a little bit more quickly, the actual rolling feeling, warming effect is very long. Mmm. Certain baking flavors pop in. Crust. Almost like, yeah, cherry, I keep balancing between like cherry and apple, which are very different fruity flavors, but like, in one segment it's like cherry pie, or excuse me, like cherry, like almost like those deep sweet cherries, uh, like Luxardo cherry, but then, almost like apple pie and stuff like that. It's very, very nice. And this lingering, spicy finish. I'm gonna, normally I have a little bit left in the glass, but I'm finishing this one off with you guys. This, much like regular Eagle Rare, or as weird as this sounds, a lot like Knob Creek 12 Year. You took, I don't know what the barrel proof was on this, but they've taken it down to where those sweet flavors jump out at you on the nose, but the palate is very subtle and very oaky. Uh, if you don't like wood, tannins, a little bit more like gritty, like leather, these waves of different spices. The fruits are there. I'm just saying they're not going to be super, super sweet all the time. They're there, and they, this thing, this changes a lot. This is a complex bourbon. I will give it that. Um, it's not going to be this, like, bomb of, like, sweet, bold, punch you in the face flavor. It's just good. You're going to get a great nose, and then as the palate, it kind of, it's more subtle. And it goes in the waves between those more... Mellow, caramel, corn, uh, vanilla, nougat flavors wafting into the sweet flavors of the fruit. But again, it's still subtly sweet. It's not sugary sweet. And then hits into those really like peppery leather notes on the finish, really dissipating slowly. So if you like a more interesting... Um, I know Stag was also the lowest this year, but still, this is even lower than that. Weller is always a big punch, I feel like. Stag is always a bit of a punch, even in the lower proof. It's that punch. This is very subtle and interesting. It will make you want to talk about it. Um, this is very cool. So if you want to try it, give it a shot. Um, hopefully your friend has it. I'll send you a sample, maybe. I don't know. Um... To remind you not to sleep. These are always some of the harder to find because there's so few barrels because it is so old. And so this makes this a real diamond in the BTAC collection. Um, interesting whiskey, interesting taste. Thank you guys for watching. Always be trying to get uh, get away from like the hot shots of bourbon sometimes. Check out sometimes the other guys. They give you a lot to offer. And most importantly, always, always, always be wrestling with whiskey.